There's our first hammerhead. That's definitely a hammerhead. Whoa, they're coming in close now, right over my head. Completely surrounded by surf. There's a huge one. This is amazing. So for this one, I've asked my good friend, James Glancy, a conservationist, a shark diver, to head out to the Bahamas and get up close and personal with these incredible predator hammerhead sharks. I've dived before with some of these huge sharks and it is a truly mind-blowing experience that definitely takes you to the edge. You know, I think you're not human if you don't have a little bit of an elevated heart rate when you get in the water, when you see the size of these huge hammerheads swimming around under you. Wow, look at this. But what you gotta remember, the great hammerheads are actually critically endangered and very, very rarely ever attack humans. James, you're gonna smash this one, but as ever, stay safe, my friend. And what I love about you as well, you always show so much respect to these sharks because ultimately we're together trying to protect them and show the world that sharks are truly amazing and not a threat to humans and that the real threat to sharks are humans not the other way around so if you make it out of there in one piece make sure you get home safe and don't get lost in the bermuda triangle here we are it's james glancy i'm in the bahamas in bimini ready to undergo Bear's first mission for me, which is diving with great hammerheads. I've got my kit, so let's go and see what we're getting kitted up with for this mission. Bear told me there'd be a lot of diving, so I brought all my kit, including some of my old military kit, starting with the trusty old knife. You've got to have one of these when you're underwater. Got a pair of big fins for any long distance swimming. You never know when you need to get away or into an area, so we're good to go on that front. Got my dive computer, on my BCD and for this mission everything's done in a full face mask because I'm going to be speaking to you live underwater when those sharks are coming in hot and this system allows the regulator to go to the mask and that means I can speak and what's really cool about this system is that you can also speak to other divers and the surface with through water comms and that's something we'll be trying out when we get out to Tiger Beach. I've got a few other bits of kit that I'll be introducing throughout the missions in order to help us measure the sharks, to find them, to get closer to them and to film them. But this is the basics. We're ready to go underwater to find our first great hammerheads. Here we are. The water is crystal clear. The bait is now out and already we can see nurse sharks. Here's our first hammerhead. That's definitely a hammerhead. They're coming in now. That's a really big hammerhead coming in. She's coming straight on by me. Look at the size of her dorsal fin. These sharks can grow up to 20 feet long. I reckon this one's around 12 feet. She's a real big one. You can just see the difference between nurse sharks, which are lying on the floor, much smaller, and the huge, graceful, great hammerhead. Beautiful sight. The hammerhead might look intimidating, but they're actually no threat to humans, and they're really inquisitive and you can see that huge hammerhead shape. That is really advanced through millions of years of evolution. It's packed with sensory systems to find prey. There she goes, straight into the feeder, and she's got a fish. Just look at the way she turns on herself, so agile. It's like a dance between her and the feeder. big ones here now. They're circling and taking it in turns to get the bait. But I still can't see Queen. I know she's here somewhere. Queen is the local huge resident. She goes between here and Tiger Beach. Whoa, they're coming in close now, right over my head. Completely surrounded by sharks. Over there, there's a huge one in the distance. She's coming in. This is amazing! We 
we have five hammerheads. And Queen is here. I can't believe we found her. Queen is over 15 feet long. That is a huge great hammerhead shark. What an amazing sight. There must be 20 nurse sharks sat on the floor. Meanwhile, the hammerheads are circling. It's getting a bit hectic now. There are sharks everywhere. Hard to keep your eyes on them. They come from behind, the side, in front. We're totally surrounded. You can see Queen's huge sickle-shaped dorsal fin. And that caudal fin at the rear, that's what enables her to get to over 25 miles an hour when she's hunting. My air's getting low now and it's getting a bit hectic. I think it's time to get back to the surface. Well, that was an incredible set of dives with the great hammerheads. At first, we just started off with two, but after a while, we picked up to having five huge females just swimming around us. They are so polite and have this incredible system of queuing to get to the feeder. They go around in large circles. They come, take some fish, and then they go out on the same way so gracefully. You only get a sense of just how big these sharks are when you're up close and personal and they're going over your head, they're coming from all angles, they're completely surrounding you. They've got their eyes on the edge of that hammer which gives them that distinctive 360 ability to know exactly what's going on around them. Amazing situational awareness, but you've got to show them so much respect because they grow up to six meters long and the ones we saw were huge but six meters that is absolutely enormous and a massive thank you to Bimini Scuba Center who took me out to experience that amazing gathering of great hammerheads here in the Bahamas. I can see why Bear is passionate about sharks. Look at the size, wow, she's absolutely huge. And you can probably see from my excitement why I'm so passionate about conserving these amazing species. Mission accomplished. James did so well getting up so close to some of these incredible predators. And it is a truly awe-inspiring sensation when you're down there and they're swimming above you and circling. Uh, so good job, James. Uh, but wait till you see what we've got coming up next for you when it comes to sharks.